Hello everybody, it's me, Tonic TZW, and after, what, three weeks without one, I finally picked up a Kraken, and there's only one medal on the screen, which proves it wasn't one of the most amazing games I've played, but we did have a seven division kill carry on this one with myself and Chin. Let's have a look at what we've got. We're on Trident, it is domination. There are three destroyers in the game and because we are divisioned up, we are both across on a cap. There's a few cruisers out there and uh, what have we got? Asasio Z39B, big sonar. We're gonna bump into him shortly, but uh, let's get into the game. <laughs> Chin is running a pure gunboat build. Um, on his destroyer, which means I think he's got something like 5.6 or 5.7 detection. So he's going to push slightly wider than me, and I'm going to push in a little bit closer. And where we think that West Virginia may be AFK at the start, he does get his engines running and start moving in with us. Now, we aren't going to waste our engine boost because this cap is quite close, but we are located. It means that I am obviously the closest ship to somebody that is running Twist and Track. And um, we're tracking our guns over where he is likely to appear. Now we've got 5-2 um, detection ourselves. And I know that with Bain Swirsky, you can get German destroyers down to 5-5-1. Five, five, so I'm expecting to be bumped first. But that isn't what's going to happen. I'm guessing this is a 39B, perhaps um, picked it up in a Black Friday crate. I didn't have a look at his stats, but there we go. He is at just on 5-4, so we are going to get onto him with guns, because between Chin and I, two is always better than one, and he is going to pop a sonar, and because I know he has sonar, I want to be away from him. So although I'm tracking across straight, we are going to put his torpedoes out there, and even though he's running the sonar, um, those will pin him in position or force him away from that cap. He's going to get a few shots off on me, but I know he's got quite a long reload. He's still going to, um, I think, put another salvo out and blind fire me. There we go, but straight across my head. The West Virginia has pushed in with us and uh, there is a cruiser there that I think did spawn on B cap but um, has abandoned it to come round our way. That Z39B has a whole load of torpedoes heading in his direction. He has literally no option but to run into that island. We get a fire on him, but he damage controls us, and I think Chin is going to run him down into this one. We're already a ship down. The Tennessee is pushing in as well. I think he feels quite safe with that Z39B in front of him, but... He's going to start zigzagging because he now realizes that he has got two destroyers out there as Chin dispatches the Z-39B. Now I'm looking for this guy and he keeps turning left and right and I don't want him to turn into me. So I'm going to swing out a little bit as the Degras picks up a double strike with a fire on the Andrea Doria and guns down the Fabuki across on B cap. That means they're without a destroyer. They've lost a battleship with three ships down to one, and it's not looking good across on B cap. Basically, the three of us are fighting our backsides off here for this cap. We're just going to keep pounding on that Tennessee as much as we can, and then we can start to do other things. We run back through our smoke screen and drop detection. He's obviously seen those torpedoes come in. Chin gets the kill with a fire, but he wouldn't have survived those torpedoes anyway. Now that Helena all the way out there, look at these shots coming in. He's a nasty piece of kit. We really, really want rid of him. He's playing the ranged game. Um, so he's obviously built probably range reload. He's out there. We try to sort of stick in with this West Virginia. We need the cap but we don't want to get reset by accidentally picking up a few of those shells from that Helena. And we're looking around us. There we are. It's the Atlanta. 
and he like i said did spawn on b cap but decided to come round our way but i don't know what happens here because he seems to spend now the majority of the game parked pretty much there you know so we've only got five ships in the game of which four um seem to be doing anything and i think it's shortly going to be down to three so red team still do have a one ship advantage over us we spot the grass he's half health that's the guy who picked up the double strike earlier and we want to push out slightly wide of b cap because there's an asashio out there and he can most likely out detect us and we don't want to get spotted by him and then focused by everything else that is out here so it looks like that atlanta has has parked his butt behind the island and is going to rain fire on that normandy um yeah that seems to be his sole objective that normandy is going to have none of it though and uh, he's just going to push into that guy and i think blat him off the map but helena realizes that being out there all on his own is going to leave him isolated and he starts to push in towards us not realizing that chin and i are both going to put torpedoes under this guy we spot a low health juca he's on the limited range we don't want to engage him yet until such time as we can hopefully get rid of this helena and we're hoping that the west virginia will do that for us because that's what battleships do but we land two torpedoes there we get a flood he's letting that one tick i can't imagine i didn't see him taking any damage so i don't know why he's letting that one tick but hey we're gonna add insult to injury and we're gonna put some uh, more fire onto him somebody else starts shooting at him hoping for the kill but this one is going to be not yet there we go that is kill number one so there we go so we've got a battleship a cruiser there's the de Grasse. there's a normandy so that's two bbs two cruisers and a destroyer that duker is ripe for picking and i'm half expecting this west virginia just to put a single turret on him and get rid of him that would be absolutely lovely we predict a turn for the de Grasse, thinking he's going to try and um, tuck himself in on that corner as red team take b cap we are down by what 110 points so far and i didn't realize it but what this duker has done is run himself into the beach and he's a little bit stuck so i decide to take a snipey shot as the west virginia hasn't um but here we go we get some shots on him we are detected we get rid of the duker and the de Grasse slams us so we are turning and going skinny de Grasse has got himself spotted chin is in his smoke and is now gunning that bloke to pieces so where the west virginia couldn't do much about it chin is going to do the damage i've just damaged cunt i lose my rudder again and so there's not a lot i can do so for the next 15 seconds until this can be repaired just think about how lovely christmas is and what's going to be under the tree for you this year um i've got some harry bows that's about it but uh hey i did spend all my money on a lovely watch for my birthday but here we go rudder repaired engine repaired let's get turned around let's get back into the action um as you can see that atlanta across there is now pretty much broadside on the minimap to the normandy so i don't think he's going to last long at all but is it going to be a one for one here Asasio takes out the west virginia so he was sneaking around we couldn't do anything about him that the grass is ticking i'm thinking he's about to die but um there we go the atlanta does burn down the normandy so that's a one for one there it's 2v3 here i'm looking at this de Grasse thinking he's got to be a one shot he's got to be a one shot the new mexico is pushing chin chin's got tops out i put tops out we need the caps we're now 180 odd points down 
And if Chin keeps shooting, this DeGrasse is going to be on him like a tramp on chips. So I'm going to try and distract the DeGrasse. And I'm thinking, he's broadside. Let's get some AP on there. Let's keep going. If this doesn't work, we'll switch to HE. But we land the kill. And because the New Mexico is behind the island, we are undetected. But we need the capture points. We've brought it back to 2v2. We're 120 points behind. There are five and a half, well, five and a quarter minutes left on the clock. We land a torpedo on the New Mexico, which gives him a permanent flood. And because of the lofty shots of the Cossack, we are going to just blindly spam across there using auto aim. And hopefully we can drop a fire on them as well. I think Chin gets a fire on them. There we go. I get a fire on them as well. We're going to keep chipping away. I put those torpedoes across there. Excuse me. Just in case he does decide to sail out into them. And you'll notice that across on a cap that is now turning red. So we know where the Asasio is. Chin is going to drop detection and get himself turned around. The New Mexico is ticking. He's got one last volley off on Chin before he floods out there. So we're on four kills. It's only 66,000 damage. It's not a massive game, but it's been thinking about play and position. We've worked well together as a team, not sticking side by side like a lot of failed divs do, where um, they all stick together and go charging in. We've split ourselves across the map. We've given, you know, the red team two targets to shoot at so not to be able to focus one and that's given us the opportunity to get torpedoes and guns in from multiple angles for one to spot for one to smoke and i think it's worked very effectively as i said chin is on two kills i am on four we all know that this is a kraken game so we know who's going to get the fifth kill but all we're concerned about is the caps and taking caps for the points. But this Isasio opens up on Chin because he's low health. These shots are floating through the air. Chin is going mental on them. And I kind of feel a little bit guilty for this because I think it should be Chin's kill. He is gunning that guy down. Either way, we need to kill this guy to win it. And I think he did the wrong thing in um, engaging the two of us. Plop. There we go. But just as the Kraken pops up and the game ends, Chin gets killed by the Asasio. Now, we don't know if he gets credited with that kill. But there we go. We finish on 68,500 with five kills. We get one cap, one cap assist. We get the Kraken for number 111. And as I said, it's been three weeks since I had it. The De Grasse was on for Kraken too with four kills, including um, his lovely little double strike. But 25.85 for Chin and 25.58 for me. So that's quite a good game. 2,500 plus for both of us. I hope you've enjoyed watching this one. If you have, there will going to be some links that will pop up just here. Click on one of those and I'll try and get a few more videos up before Christmas. Until then, take care and goodbye.